All right, Bertrand here for Graphics Magics, and in this video, I wanted to show you how to create um, a forum sales page using Graphics Magics. Okay, so we are basically gonna see um, how I would create such a sales page, like the one exactly like the one I use for Graphics Magics, um, using the kind of sales page structure I discuss in this other post. So. Um, if you haven't seen it, I recommend you check this post first, how to create a sales page with Graphics Magics. And that shows you the kind of structure I would be using and the different um, tools I'll be using for each part of the sales page, okay? Um, but now I'm going to show you the practical part of it, so how to actually do it, okay? So if you're selling something on the forum, like, you know, a wire forum or side point or... Um, whatever forum you want you want to sell on you can um, usually you can use what they call test forums okay so on the warrior forum if you go on the main page and you you know you you, you look at the list of forums you'll see one called test forum and this is a private forum where you can test your sales thread before making it live okay so what you want to do is come here and click on new thread okay and you have a blank new thread that you can do tests on okay so first you want your your ti your title okay so in my case i'm going to use you know that title and then this is where your sales page will go okay but because it's mostly going to be images i'm going to do the images um here okay so the three things i need for this um to do this tutorial is the warrior forum test forum and you know you'll need to create a new thread um second thing you'll need something where you can host your images okay so i use a tool called image gore so that's imagegore.com and um, that's where I will host my sales page graphics. Um, you can host them on your website. Um, personally, I like this. Um, I like this site pretty much. It's pretty easy to upload uh, files. Um, <clears throat> it's mostly free. I think after about like something like 500 pictures, um, you have to pay for a monthly like I think it's like twenty dollars. Uh, sorry, twenty dollars a year or something. Um, so actually upgraded to the paid subscription of imagegirl.com and I host um, a ton of images here. Um, as you can see, um, these are all images that I'm hosting on ImageGirl. And um, the third thing you need is graphic magics, of course. Okay, so now if we see this, the sales page structure that we have here, okay, so it starts with headlines, then copy, then bullets, then a kind of e-cover, then copy, bullets, uh, testimonial, guarantee, copy, and button. Okay, so that's how I would structure a basic sales page. Um, so what you want to do is to, you know, start with your headline. So, um, you know, let's say you wrote something like seven no secrets to, you know, gaining weight. You know, let's say someone wants to gain weight, um, although that's not too common. And um, let's say you want to get ahead in gaining, in gaining, okay? Obviously, this is just an example, so I'm not going to fret too much over the sales copy. And so, um, so you would customize your text, you know, the way you want it, change colors or, or, and everything. And um, then what you want to do is... Um, is download your graphic okay so i'm on the old version of um headline magic so you might not have the bg on off button but what this means basically is that um, if you turn it off then your background is transparent okay so it will match your sales page um which is good for me so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep the transparent background and then i'm gonna download it okay and that's my file here so as you can see it's a transparent background and you know i get my headline okay so um now going back to my sales page structure after the headline I have some copy and some bullet points okay so i'm going to go to copy magics um i'm going to turn the background off and i'm going to download it 
okay and now I have my copy okay so headline copy um, next step would be let me see my structure bullet points okay so that will be probably like pain points okay so I'll turn it to something like red I'll change that text color and I'll change the bullet point to red crosses okay now I'll add a couple more um, and then I download okay and now I have my bullet points okay and that's basically the spirit you know you just download um, each parts one by one and then you would assemble them uh, like so here okay so I'm going to show you how I would upload those to a sales page okay so I'm on my test thread here so as you can see it's pretty blank and I have downloaded all these images so they have gone into my download folder um, my default download folder on my computer but I need to have them on this sales page um, on this forum okay so what I would do is to go to imagegore.com and um, if you're not using imagegore um, let me show you just in case you know if you're not using image go you might get confused there so um, maybe you're using wordpress so basically image go is simply a place to um, host your images um let me log in one second yeah so image go is a place to host your images so you could do the same on wordpress if you go to media and then click on add new okay you can upload your images here for your thread okay so I'm gonna upload them on image go first and I'm gonna upload them on my website so on image go if I click on the home page and I click on upload you can see um, I have different options here and uh, normally I can just drag and drop okay so that's what I did here uh, drag drop drag drop so that's my header my copy and my bullet points and then I click on start upload and it's gonna upload you know the three of them in about five ten seconds which is pretty cool I mean like image go makes it very very easy for you to do that kind of stuff okay and um, now let's say um, I wanted to put this image so that's the the head the, the headline okay so I would copy the direct link, okay, this one, which ends with PNG. So if I click here, that's copied in my clipboard. And then I'll go to the Warrior Forum and, you know, click on image. And where it says, please enter the URL, I'll paste it here. Okay, so, I'll, you know, right click and paste uh, the image go image I've copied. Okay, and... Um, Similarly, I would go to the second image, you know, which is my um, the kind of copy copy block, okay, and I would add an image and paste the URL of my copy block, and the, the third image is the bullet points, so I'm going to click here to copy it, and then, you know, paste it here, okay. And then what I would do uh, would be um, to center um, the whole thing, okay? Because, you know, obviously I want things to look kind of aligned in the middle. So I selected everything and I clicked on this paragraph here, okay? Align center on that button. And now I'm whole center, okay? And then I'll click on submit new thread okay and here we go I get my headline I get my copy and I get my bullet points okay and then you know following the kind of blueprint I have here um, so next after that I would add my um, product image okay then I would add my another paragraph about the product image then you know more bullet point benefits then some testimonials then a guarantee then some call to action and then a button and that's what i would do populate my sales page this way so it's pretty 
um, it's pretty easy to do it this way. You know, there's not much formatting. You know, and in case you need to, you know, create some transitions between, you know, like this block and this block. Okay, you can write some text in between. Okay, so you can write, you know, some, you know, your usual. Um, you can use the usual text editor. You know, let's say you wanted to add, you know, maybe your problem is one of the following. Okay, and I would save. And okay, so that would fit nicely here. Okay, so maybe your problem is one of the following. I would probably make this bigger. So if I go in the advanced editing mode, I take that text and make it maybe font size 4. Okay. And save it. Okay, so as you can see, maybe your problem is one of the following. Okay, so that's what I would do if I need some, you know, to insert some extra text in between, like um, to transition from one block to the other. Um, but that's pretty much the whole system, okay? And now let's say you wanted to do that on um, a WordPress post. Okay, so it would be pretty much the same. Um, I'm in my WordPress page right now and I just went to media and then add new. Okay. And here I can upload my files. Um, you can you can use the same files you have uploaded on Image Gore, okay, but if you're not comfortable or familiar with Image Gore. What you can do is drag and drop your files here. Um, usually it works, but not all the time. Okay, so this one has worked. Uh, snapshot 49. Yeah, I think it's not liking these images. Okay, snapshot 50. Only one missing. And snapshot 48. Okay, so I have my three images. Now I have uploaded them to my WordPress site, okay, and let's say, um, so I go back to my dashboard and I'm going to add a new page actually, so click on page, add new, okay, and I'm going to call, I'm gonna call this page uh, my sales page, okay, so um, next thing I would do here is to um, get these images, okay, so normally what I think I can do is click on add media here, just above, okay? And I can add files from my media library. So you can see the three images I added are already here. Okay, so that's my headline. So I'm going to click here on the headline and um, I'm going to click on insert into page. Okay, and normally I should have it here in a second. Okay, so um, so I have my image here. Now, the next thing you want to do is to add the second image. So I just um, I just did a line break. Okay, and I'm going to go to Add Media. And I'm going to add um, the copy. Okay, my, my first copy. Um, and then click on Insert into Page. Okay, and I have my copy below it. Okay, then I do another line break. And if I go back up, add media, I'm going to add the bullet points. And then click on insert into page. And here we go. That's my bullet points. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything. So I'm going to start from the bottom click and you know drag until I select everything and then I would click on center okay and now as you can see my page is nicely centered and I can maybe preview it if that works okay it's just loading up okay and as you can see that's nicely centered and that looks like a pretty good sales page actually so far and um, the team I'm using for this website is Optimize Press. Okay, so that's a team, you know, that's pretty good to use if you want to do um, stuff like this. Okay. And that's pretty much how we do it. So I think um, one of the, the, the last thing you may want to do is to link your buy button to 
uh, your payment um, button to your you know your payment processor okay so for this let's say I create a buy button first I'm gonna create this button here okay so that's my buy button and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna add it here in this sales page so I'm gonna click on add media and upload files and that's another way to add files by the way um, it's pretty much the same so um, select files and <clears throat> I'm gonna get it from my downloads if I can um, one second tons of images here as you can see okay I think that's the right one I got okay so product name okay so that's my buy button okay so what I want to do is um, you know let's say you get your link from PayPal you know PayPal gives you a payment link or if you're using Warrior Plus they're gonna give you a payment link and that's the link you should have to get people you know to buy your product okay um, same with any payment processor whether you're using um, you know, Alert Pay or Get DPD or Product Pay, um, JVZoo, they're always going to give you a Niper link, which is your payment link. So, what you want to do in this case, okay, so I've just added my image, and you can see here on the right, I have the settings, okay, so what I would do is probably to change the title to Add to Cart, okay. And then um, you can see here it's written a link to media file, okay? And I'm going to click on media file and select custom URL, okay? And my URL here, I would put my payment link, okay? So if it's a PayPal link, I would put it here, Warrior Plus, um, JVZoo, Product Pay, Alert Pay, DPD, ClickBank, you know, whatever. Um, payment processor you're using you're gonna have a unique payment link per product so that's what you want to put right here and then you click on insert into page okay so let me just put PayPal here just so that and um, we can test it after a while and here we go okay now I'm gonna click on this and center it okay and now I'm going to preview it again. Okay, so it's loading right now. Okay, and here we go. I have my uh, button here. And if I click on it, I should be taken to PayPal. Okay, so here we go. So that's my payment link. And as I said, you want to link it to whatever link your payment processor gives you. And this way you have a working sales page okay so um, that's the way I would do it so um, again the tool I use to host my images is image go um, on the warrior forum I recommend um, you try if, you, if you're trying to sell on the Warrior forum I recommend you you test your thread in the test forum so this way you can you know create some some test sales threads and um, if you're using HTML, well, it's pretty much the same principle. Um, it's only that, you know, you will have to know a little HTML coding, like a href coding and so on. But, you know, if you're using WordPress or a forum, it's pretty straightforward. So um, I hope the, um, this tutorial will help you. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And thanks a lot for watching. Thank you.